This is Scott with Offensive Group for the Armory Life. I was recently sent the Rico Micro 384 12 micron 25 millimeter multi-purpose thermal monocular. Now this is an extremely compact thermal optic that can be used as a handheld monocular for scouting, could be helmet mounted, and used in standalone mode to provide positive ID on targets as a dedicated optic when mounted on a rifle. Over the course of a few months, I took it out, got some hands-on time using it as a monocular, and then mounted it to my Sane Edge for some range time experimentation. One feature I was really interested in was the onboard recording capability with the internal 64 gigabytes of storage that also features onboard playback so you can instantly review footage in the field. Initial impressions. Out of the box, I was impressed with the size of the tiny electro optic compared to some other thermal monoculars I've worked with in the past. And with this one weighing in at under a pound, the lightweight nature of the unit didn't impact how robust and really substantial it felt when in hand. In brief, it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic toy, but feels like a rugged, heavy-duty piece of kit. The soft shell case that this unit came in had everything I'd need to get started, including a full color manual, two rechargeable 18650 batteries, battery charger cables for data transfer and external power, a couple of iCup options, mounting hardware, and some extras. In terms of ergonomics, the body style and button placement all felt pretty easy to utilize and comfortable with only three buttons being on top of the unit, and it fit within the palm of my hand. Now this unit features Matrix 3 processing, and a manual focus f1.0 objective lens, and the sensor's 50Hz frame rate provides a smooth and crisp image, which is comfortable to the eye because it has really low latency. In terms of glass and magnification, the unit includes optical mag of 2x and digital magnification up to 4x. I personally found the crispest sweet spot and the clearest image and best user experience for me at the 2x and of course 1x magnifications during my time with it. I think that's where it really will live for practical use when mounted to a rifle. Thermal detection range of this unit is maxed out at an ample 1,375 yards, which is gonna be more than enough for most hunting or spotting applications if you're doing any kind of a hog hunt or predator hunting where applicable. One aspect I was really curious about was how long this could be used consistently, and the batteries afford and live up to their four hours of life per battery. Now the on-screen readout and features is where I felt this unit really excelled for me and was a standout compared to many other thermals I've worked with. You will have a wide array of data sets available to view on screen and a good degree of control regarding what info on screen you want to see during use. The unit includes four thermal views, white hot, black hot, red hot, and color, and the useful displays on the screen I mentioned include three zeroing profiles that can be assigned to various distances, imaging mode, a digital compass, digital zoom, battery indicator, and a clock. Taking this to the range, I had a really good time. And with a thermal, you don't get to see a bullseye on your paper targets because it's a thermal. What you get is a square of uniform color where the ambient temperature of the paper lies. So, to zero in the optic, I took my Sane Edge to the local 50 yard range, set out a splatter shot target so I could easily detect impacts from the bench rest where I was shooting from, and simply set the digital A profile on the eye ray to 50 yards and held the digital reticle on the center of target and sent shots to see where my initial impacts were landing. It was about 59 degrees on the morning of the testing here and using the thermal's red view through the eye ray, the image showed basically a monochrome surrounding range until impacts hit the berm, which instantly showed where my hits were landing in a spray of warm colored lead splash. Now the hot markings from the lead on the berm stayed warm for minutes after impact, which really gave me a good opportunity to utilize the controls on the eye ray, adjust the reticle accordingly, which stayed consistent throughout my session. Blast back to back to see how it's holding zero. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome at 50 yards. And I'm just winging it because again, they're, that's tight grip. Now shooting paper is only so fun with a the thermal, so I heated up some water bottles in my truck by setting the heater to 90 degrees and turned on the seat warmers, and just for dramatic effect, wanted to see some true splash. Not gonna lie, it was good fun, and although I've used thermals a decent amount in the past, the unique view and that kaleidoscope of colors when you impact a warm target never loses its appeal. It was a crude test and demonstration, but it was fun. So after playing with this unit, answered all my questions. Does it work? Yes. Is it fairly intuitive and does it afford you the ability to customize your distances? Yes. 
Did the battery life last the range sessions and then some? Absolutely it did. Would I recommend checking it out if you're really into hog hunting, predator hunting, or just like to see the world in a different view as an optics enthusiast? Definitely. For all these reasons and more, I recommend you get your hands on one if you have a chance. Check out the Ricoh Micro 384 Thermal. And again, this has been Scott with Offensive Group for the Armory Life. Stay safe out there, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the next one.